Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. In this video, we're gonna do a little tutorial on how to make some Christmas bulbs on mixed media or watercolor paper. I'm gonna be using watercolors and I'm gonna show you that you do not need expensive supplies in order to make some fun Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna be using these, my Prang watercolors. Uh, there's a little, um, what is it, 12 set, or I don't know how many there are. There's a little eight set and a 16 set, that's how many there are. And um, you can use either. I have both, and the only reason I have both is I lost where my 16 set was and ordered a little eight set, um, and then eventually found mine. I'm opening up to what the example is gonna be like, but this was a, a tutorial that Brie did on her Instagram back in June of 2022. And this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making some little Christmas bulbs like this. This was just me testing it out to see <laughs> if I liked it, if I could get it to work. And it's, it's gonna be very, very simple. You're gonna need some sort of a jar I'm using a, a jam jar. It was a Trader Joe's jam jar. I think fig jam was in there. Very good. And you're going to need some paint. I'm using my Prang watercolors. You'll need some sort of a brush. The brush that comes with the Prang watercolors is just fine because we're not going to be doing like crazy detailed work. Um, and I'm just showing that I put mine in a slightly different order than they came in and you know talking about what colors there are there's a couple of reds an orange a yellow a brown a couple of greens three blues a couple of purples black and white you know very simple so i'm taking some water and dipping into it's kind of like a scarlet red i guess you could say and getting some paint on the brush and then i'm actually painting around the outside of the jar if you had a larger mixing palette, you could mix up a wash of paint and water and dip the lid of the jar in. As you can see, the Prang watercolor has those separation lines, which is like raised plastic, so I couldn't really do it on there. And this way, I didn't have to dirty another plate or another palette, and I could just put, you know, the paint on the jar and just coat it however much or little you want. And you want to let it kind of air dry for just a little bit onto the jar, then turn it upside down and kind of press it like you're using like an acrylic stamp and then pull straight up. Don't slide it around because that will change your shape. And then I usually, I let it dry just a little bit and then I come in with a clean brush with just water. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to pull that pigment down into the center of the bulb. So you're giving it um, like a little bit of translucence, like those glass bulbs that have color, but you can see through them. I just, I love the look. And all I'm doing is taking water on the brush and pulling it in towards the center. And you'll see here, I start to leave two little like highlight lines and I eventually come back and <laughs> fill it back in because I thought it looked a little too, uh, it, it just looked a little, little fake. But I did let it dry a little bit and then came back with some more water and so it, it was a little bit lighter there. I think this is about where that starts to happen. I'm just going around the edges, bringing that pretty scarlet Christmassy red color into the center of the bulb. And I think here is where I do that. Yeah, I bring it a little bit closer and then go over. And you can see it, it looks like a more of a natural highlight instead of a forced highlight that I was giving it. But it looks really pretty. And we're going to do this a couple more times. We're going to take other colors. The next color I'm grabbing is the pretty purple from the 8 palette. It's a really nice kind of vibrant violet. You can see me test it there on the, oh, I guess you call it the mixing well. Yeah, see how pretty that violet is. I love non-traditional colors. 
And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Paint the rim of the jam jar. Let it dry a little bit. And then the exact same thing. Press it down and hold it there in place and then lift straight up. See how I'm doing it like I'm doing an acrylic stamp <laughs> or a stamp block. Because I want to make sure I get a nice impression and I do get some, you know, paint there. And now I'm going in again with a clean watercolor brush with just water. And we're doing the same thing. Pulling the color in. It, they give you like a perfect size, you know, Christmas tree ornament. And if you had, you know, different size glasses or jars, um, you know, you could make a variety of different sizes. They're, they're, they're really fun to do. And then this is just the basic. If you had any metallic pens or white gel pens, you could go over these with some really cool patterns and designs. I wanted to keep mine just very simple to show you that you really don't need anything more than just a watercolor brush. You know, like the Prang watercolors are like three, four, five dollars and a jar or a glass. And it could be even a plastic glass. It doesn't have to be a glass glass. Here I picked another color. I decided to go with this. It's kind of a bluey, purpley color. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a little bit of the flu cough. And it really doesn't take that long. This is all real time. There is no, um, nothing is sped up. And I wanted to keep it that way just to show you that, you know, it won't take more than 10 or 12 minutes. If you're just doing something quick and simple like this, you can use it for a Christmas card, just some practice in your sketchbook, a way to fill up a page. And here you can see I'm letting it dry just a little bit. And now we're gonna plop it down. And again, hold it nice and steady, nice and still. And when you lift up, lift straight up. So that way it doesn't smudge or smear. So you get a nice good circle. And again, just water on your brush. And we're gonna get it nice and give it a nice color. And you can see these are really pretty Christmas colors, I think. The, the red, the scarlet red is, you know, like a kind of what I think of as a Christmas red. And then the purpley, lavendery, and then this sort of a bluey, purpley, I have no idea what color you call it. Um, you know, nice non-traditional Christmas colors. You could even make Hanukkah bulbs or, you know, you could do <laughs> anything you want with this. Um, any size, larger, smaller. Something you could do is if you had a, um, like a protractor or a compass or one of those circle tracers, um, you could use watercolor pencils and do the exact same thing with these. And now I decided I wanted to get my colored pencils out. These are the Derwent Chroma Flow. And I'm going to define the circles a little bit more. And so that color is actually called Scarlet Red. So it it almost matches the Prang watercolor purple or the watercolor red really well. And you don't have to have Derwent colored pencils. If you have Crayola or that other brand that you can get at um, Walmart that's like Crayola, use Crayola. You really don't need these. Um, I just, you know, wanted to clear, clean them up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Just, and, and I do it with all of them. I don't have a set of Crayola color pencils. I should probably invest in one. I have um, the Crayola, like, colors of the world, like all their 20 some odd earth, earth uh, like skin tone set. Here I am using a, this one is a, I think either lavender, I think it's a lavender 
color, lavender or violet, that I'm using around this sort of a purple one. And then the what the colored pencil I use around the bluey one, I use is called denim. So it's a nice deep blue, and they look really really nice. And then I get a black colored pencil out, and I create like the little topper of the Christmas tree ornament. And again, you don't have to use those. You could use a ballpoint pen, like a black ballpoint pen. You could use a fine liner if you have a fine liner. Use what you have. You don't need to buy anything in order to do this. If you have, you know, just colored pencils, trace, you know, a glass or some circle and color it in any way you want with any design. It doesn't even have to be watercolor. It could just be you know, colored pencils, or if you have crayons, use crayons. This is a fun thing that you can do with, you know, your your kids, your nieces, your nephews. This is something I would do with my niece and nephews. I would bring my watercolors and um, probably my scholar pencils and the praying watercolors. You know, so that way nothing really expensive would get uh, used up very much. So here I'm putting the little toppers on the Christmas ornaments. You can see I've got the, the blue one done. I'm doing the scarlet now. We're gonna go over to the sort of a lavender violet one. Do the exact same thing. And I'm just using, you know, a simple black, you know, colored pencil. Nothing, nothing extravagant. Maybe that's what I should do. Get some, a pack of Crayola colored pencils. They're not my favorite. I probably shouldn't. Let's just keep with what I have. I don't need to spend money. But it might be nice to have to show tutorials with inexpensive art supplies. So here they are. This is what they look like when they're done. Thank you so much for joining me. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. And... Hope you're having a wonderful December. Bye-bye.